Hey, welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Tonight we're checking out the Retivus RT10 900 MHz radio. Is this the right radio for your business? Let's get into it. Now this is an ISM radio. Now I had never heard of ISM frequencies until I started doing research for this review. ISM stands for Industrial, Scientific, and Medical. Uh, so again, this band, in addition to some other frequencies throughout the spectrum, which goes all the way from like six megahertz all the way up through like the high microwave frequencies. Um, if you're in this ISM allocation, uh, you can use it without having to worry about licensing whatsoever from the FCC. Uh, these are things like microwave ovens, medical equipment, cordless phones, baby monitors. These radios now for business are becoming more and more popular. And Internet of Things, um, smart home devices are also on this band. What that means is there are a lot of different kinds of signals on this band and you may be prone to interference. And because again, you're kind of in a free for all of everybody can use without licensing it, uh, you could be prone to interference and again, there's nothing you can really do about it, but just change your frequency and try to find a clear space on the band. Something to keep in mind. Although in my testing and review, I have yet to have any interference whatsoever. Now, when I announced to my Instagram and Twitter followers that I was going to be reviewing this radio, their first question was, does this radio have FHSS or something known as frequency hopping? Frequency hopping can kind of help mitigate any kind of potential risk from interference. This radio, however, does not have FHSS. Just something to keep in mind. So why are radios like the Retivus RT10 and other MERS radios becoming so popular? Well, it's simple. The old model was you'd go to your local radio company and you would procure really expensive radios from a very top name manufacturer and then also pay that company to do the paperwork and license a set of frequencies for your business. The advantage to buying an RT10, not only are you going to save significantly on radio costs, you're also going to save money on licensing fees. All you have to do with these radios is buy them. They're already pre-programmed out of the box. You simply turn them on and start using them and you don't have to worry about fees year after year like you would if you went to your local radio company. So what are the important things that we need to know about the Retivus RT10? It covers 902 megahertz to 928, and it is a dual mode analog and DMR digital radio. It does come with 50 pre-programmed channels in the ISM band range, but it can do 128 thanks to having multiple zones that you can program. It is rated for one watt of output power. Uh, I actually put it on and checked it out. It's actually about 1.2, kind of a negligible difference, but nonetheless, it's nice to see that it's specced out uh, a little bit better than what it was supposed to be on paper. It does have a 1400 milliamp hour battery, which by my calculations and experience in testing, about 15 and a half hours of battery life uh, using the 5590 standard. Um, so that means that if you have someone working eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, this radial will be able to take care of them their entire shift without needing to swap out a battery. That's awesome. One of the features that I kind of like about this radio was tail cancellation. Uh, tail cancellation just takes off that little bit of kerchunk or noise at the end of a transmission. Um, that's really, really nice, again, if you're in a business setting, particularly in a quiet area, to kind of take away um, that noisy radio tail at the end of a transmission. And we have to talk about 900 meg versus maybe you're looking at a VHF radio or a UHF radio. 900 meg radios are really designed for people that are in incredibly high concrete and rebar steel type facilities. Uh, a cruise ship would be a fantastic example of where 900 megahertz shines like a diamond. Uh, VHF would be great if you have a large area where you want to maybe bend your signal around some hills. Uh, maybe you got to go a quarter mile, half mile down the road. Uh, there's some trees, but generally open space, right? That's where VHF is going to come into play. Uh, UHF is kind of a nice balance between the two, but again, this is a 900 megahertz radio. 900 megahertz signals penetrate uh, concrete and steel and other things in the physical environment really, really well. What that means though is as it penetrates things really well, it does cut down on the distance. Now, uh, Retivus does say this can handle 350,000 square feet and 30 floors of range with that one watt power. Now, I took this radio out to the Mall of America uh, here in the Twin Cities of Minnesota to give it some testing. Now, unfortunately, the security team at Mall of America really didn't like the fact that I had this radio out and was doing a video about it. So unfortunately, I cannot show you the video I took. 
However, um, this thing performed flawlessly across the Mall of America. Now, the Mall of America is four floors of an incredible amount of steel and concrete. I had no problem talking all the way down a single side of the Mall of America from the first floor all the way up to the fourth floor. Um, so this thing performed beautifully, just as I would expect with a 900 meg radio. Next up, we have to talk about build quality. Uh, the build quality on this radio, considering the price tag, is actually pretty good. Is it as drop resistant, um, as weather resistant, as maybe another radio from a high-end competitor might be? Absolutely not. But this radio, I was actually fairly impressed with. Now here on the side, you still have your normal uh, two-pin accessory jack. So if you wanna use an earpiece, maybe you wanna use a speaker microphone, uh, you have your normal standard uh, you know, jack here on the side. Also here on the back, we have a very nice deep belt clip. Uh, nothing drives me more crazy than a radio that does not have a deep belt clip because it doesn't feel very secure on the belt. This one uh, feels very secure, very deep when you have it there on the side. Uh, it also has a little spot to put your initials on uh, or the initials of an employee or a department, something like that here on the back. Uh, we have very large rubber, uh, I said function buttons here on the side and also a nice large uh, plastic tactile PTT button which also feels very, very good. Here on the top, we said I have our channel selector knob, we have our volume, uh, and I said this radio, for what it is, is fantastic. Again, the competitor radio to this is $300 a unit compared to 97 for this. Now, in bulk, this radio comes down to about $60 a unit when you start you know, buying 20, 30, 40, 50 a piece uh, for a larger company. That is significant cost savings, let alone the savings you're gonna have by not worrying about licensing on a frequency. So again, the costs with this radio are really, really, really significant and the quality you're getting still for that price are actually quite good. So who is this radio for? Well, I think it's simple. Again, if you have a relatively small footprint business within that 350,000 square foot size area and lots of steel, lots of concrete, lots of things that you need to penetrate through with the radio signal, this is probably a great choice. And you're gonna have significant cost savings over going to your local radio supplier or going direct to the manufacturer and buying that really expensive name brand radio that we won't say here. Um, this is gonna be significantly cheaper uh, and it comes pre-programmed. So you can just utilize the frequencies that are in here and chances are you're probably not really gonna have any interference. So this is a fantastic choice for businesses looking to save a dollar, still have a good quality radio. I wouldn't call it great quality radio, uh, but works just fine, functions great, has all the features you need, all call, the accessory port, a deep belt clip, um, you know, to utilize this radio in a business setting and for you to communicate across the factory. In fact, I was talking to a friend of mine recently who was saying, why are we spending all this money for these really expensive radios and a really expensive repeater system when really all we need is something like this? I mean, we're not life and death here. It's different in public safety, right? You know, we're just packing things in a box in a relatively small warehouse. This is what we need to communicate on the floor with our staff, not something that costs five or six times the amount of money. Would I recommend the Retivus RT10? Absolutely. Uh, any business, again, that's looking for a good quality radio, I wouldn't hesitate recommending this radio for you. Again, remember, you're looking for something that can penetrate through steel and concrete. You're not looking to cover a very, very long distance, say maybe within a quarter mile, something like that. Uh, this is a fine, fine choice for you, and you're going to save a lot of money doing it. If you have any questions, drop me a comment down below. Hopefully you found this review helpful. Uh, don't forget, Retivus did provide this radio to me uh, for this review as a review unit. However, I'm giving you my unbridled opinion. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. If you haven't, hit subscribe, hit the like button. I'll catch you again next time.